So I like this game of just put up the picture and let the person who knows what they need to say say it. So you have to absolutely come up front if you have something to say about this photo, whoever it may be. So that's my daughter Kayla. And for those of you that have been in the club forever, um, have seen her since she was a little little thing. She was in Sunny Bray Interact. She was in Arcata High Interact. Went away to school um, to uh, University of Santa Cruz, and her only goal after she graduated was to live in San Francisco, which she managed to do for five years and decided that maybe she should do something else besides that. So she went to law school. And so she graduated from the University of San Diego just last weekend. So there she is. So. Um, <laughs> Are now that'll be the end of July, and um, so you don't like to talk, you don't want to jinx anything. So you don't talk about your future plans until you pass the bar, because if you don't pass the bar, you're studying again. So and that's the family, though. My that's um, my other daughter's on the other side of my husband, Steve. For those of you that know Bruce and Norma Watson, that's their youngest daughter, Felicia. And the guy at the end, tall guy at the end, is Casey Quayla, who also is an Arcata High graduate, went to Pacific Union. Lacey and Casey are getting married this summer. Okay, so before we turn away, you might, because, because you're the one who gave me these photos, you are not stuck explaining these. Well, no. Come on, Claire. Oh, Claire oh, oh, is here. Let's I didn't see, see him coming. Yes. I was like, looking, I kept looking yes. over there. That's hilarious. Yes. I'm blind. Okay, so um, you can speak about your photos then. <laughs> So uh, our oldest son is now living in Nottingham, we got water. Lots of water. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so he, um, when Niall was uh, 12, he was doing nothing but playing video games. And I said, no video games until you get another extracurricular activity. And he spent nine months not playing video games because he's very stubborn. <laughs> so um, I said, you can pick whatever you want. I don't care, but it has to be something. So he chooses something called Warhammer. Um, I don't know if any of you know what that is, but they make little, they buy them kits and they make models and elaborate terrain and it's kind of like a video game on a tabletop with large uh, books for um, rules and such, and, but they're actually socially interacting with people. So I'm like, okay, I didn't see anything. Well, I was pretty sure by the time he was like 18 and he was still in his room, you know, doing this and painting models that he was going to be a hunched up old man in his room forever. Um, <coughs> Excuse me. Anyway, when he went to school in San Francisco, he worked at the Games Workshop <coughs> store. He was, you know, pretty obsessed. <laughs> and now he works for the Games Workshop company as an editor of uh, their magazine um, in Nottingham. So that's why we went. <laughs> we went to, yeah, this, this I know. Yeah. 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 I was wondering how you were tying that together. I'm like, yeah. this no. doesn't look like a tabletop yeah. game. I didn't put pictures of the place, but it has his room is filled with little tiny men that he left, you know, in our house because he's overseas. Um, but that whole place is filled with little tiny men everywhere and monsters and such. So it was, it was pretty cool. I should have put a picture of that up. But um, anyway, yeah, that's why we why we went. We met him in, in Ireland. This is, I'm not going to say it right, um, Karaka Reddy. It's the rope bridge that goes over where fishermen used to go and fish between rocks. It's a very touristy, and there were a lot of people there. But, you know, I came home just realizing the beauty of Humboldt County, because Ireland's beautiful, but so is Humboldt County, and we have trees. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That, um, I have, we lived there 29 years ago, so I saw a very good friend for the first time in 29 years, and she is a tour guide and a linguist, and she took us through York, which is an amazing town. It's incredibly preserved for their heritage and um, all of that. So she gave us a wonderful tour. And this is the printing press devil for people who were illiterate but had to go to bookstores to pick up things for their, you know, okay, with the cousins, basically. They would know that that was the printing press because the, the devil was up there. And then there were other markers like that throughout the town. And there's, if there's an error in the print of the other newspaper, it's you know because of the printing press double. They probably have a better name for them, but it was it was very historical, very interesting. Yeah, terrifying what people do to each other. And uh, not just yes. back then. Yeah, this is all of the signs by churches for <laughs> crossings showed these people hunched <laughs> over. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
I wondered what this picture was about. I looked at it and I'm like, I think that's for the sign. It is. Yeah, the British have a funny sense of humor. We, we also went to see the Book of Mormon. <laughs> I spent a lot of time like this. It was hilarious, but irreverent. I'm not telling any of my Mormon friends that. If any of you are Mormon, I apologize. <clears throat> the church did have a sponsor a full page ad in the um, uh, this is my friend Nadia and we're in York and we're at a laying house because everything's very old and preserved there and that one looks like it's going to fall over. Uh, we really enjoy the pubs. The first thing we did when we got to Ireland was go to the Guinness factory, which Guinness from the, you know, the draft in Ireland is much better than the bottles here. Um, we went to the oldest pub in Dublin and then also the oldest pub in Ireland, or in England, which is in Nottingham or Nottingham. Oh, now this is a fun question. Which is better? You know, they were both really good. We, we went to lots of pubs. <laughs> yeah, it, was, it was excellent. This one is very cool because it's dug into, the caves are dug into the limestone, so they took us back for a tour of where they keep all of the caves and, yeah, because Anyway, Nottingham has a ton of limestone caves carved out um, under the city. And that, I think, is at one of the gates um, in Dublin. That's our Sun Nile. Yeah. I don't, I don't see any little figures. No little men? Yeah, it's probably one on his shirt. Now. You're going to have to give us a picture of all these little men. Oh, I can do that. I have many. Yeah. It was, we, there's a three story museum in the um, Warhammer World building that's just in face. I don't know how many thousands of hours these people spent. It, it's amazing the things people do. Yes, it is. They have a, their own pub and a big room where people go in and play games and drink beer. <laughs> I was going to say, I think maybe you gave them a new hobby that at least is social. Yeah, true. Yes, yeah. Full of worry. Excellent. Well, thank you. Thank you. Yes. this a little different this week. So normally I have somebody totally in mind. So does anybody have someone who they think should be the Rotarian of the week this week? Somebody's got to be fired up for someone, right? Jeff. Yes, this is what I'm talking about. Patty Campbell. Patty what? Campbell. Because yeah. I sent out an email to the last few people who were on the final Friday list for next week. And about four people wrote me back. Actually, it should be split between Patty and Brian. Because they both wrote back to me and they said they are not going to be here the 31st, but they made other plans. And so they're my personal. Who, who sent you the email first, Patty or Brian? Patty. Oh, sorry, Brian. <laughs> You're out. That's a really low bar. <laughs> okay, you don't know what I deal with sometimes. It so the bar for Rotary of the Week is not lower. To, high. If the whole point of it is, somebody makes your life better. And, and basically, that makes my life better because if Terry's happy, then she's not yelling at me for something. I don't. So, no, that's why I know that I'm doing, you're all doing a great job because Terry doesn't yell at me. But, but I would like to say one of the reasons I responded so quickly is because I had just gotten a thank you note, a handwritten thank you note oh, yeah. in the mail for her for a donation that I had made that I thought was required anyway. So I was not expecting a thank you note. So, so I would throw it back at Terry. So here's that that's fun, but she beat you to it. Okay. So you're returning of the week, but raise your hand if you've ever gotten a card from Terry. No. Wow! <laughs> People get card that's crazy. You kind of uh it's kind, kind of, of do a lot. You might have to be on that list for returning of the week. And anybody got a cat card from Terry though? <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah. I guess I just say Shutterfly is my friend, and beyond that, the Shutterfly app on my phone is a very expensive thing to have. Just, and then they have my credit card number, and I get stuck. 